the next thing I want to talk to you guys and stuff about is the best place to find music. And the reason I'm one of the reasons why I'm so pumped to start the wedding season and stuff is because I was able to do, um, you know, deep dives on this next platform that I was able to find stuff at. So, you know, the typical ones are right above me and stuff right here. These are the ones that I use on the regular and I still will continue to use them. And if anybody else here needs any discounts for any of these companies and stuff up here, it is down in the, the, the description below so that you can get discounts on there. But let me tell you the one that I found that gave me some tracks that none of these guys would give me if you could believe it or not it was here it was a patreon and let me just tell you it is the cheat code and i cannot believe that i did not tap into this source long before now before i used to have um i used to have my guy jordan lee like as my only patreon okay he was the only one that i would you know, get music and stuff from because I watched his, um, I watched his videos and he would DJ and he would put the songs and stuff, certain edits and stuff down there. And then he would do his own edits. But basically Patreon is just all the DJs who are good at producing are able to make their versions of songs or different versions of styles of songs. It's pretty much like being in a record pool. Uh, but with the record pool, you're getting just one or two DJs versions here. You're getting one DJ who creates version that you may like. So like, here's some of the guys that I have a Patreon to, um, that I just frequently jump into, you know, their listing and see what different versions they have. So one of them, of course, is Jordan Lee. Um, I also have DJ Bazon. Now we've had him on here. I keep saying Bazan is Bazan. Uh, we've had him on the show and stuff before. He has a great, um, has some great edits for you guys to check out. And it's just, you know, Patreon is just a monthly charge. Uh, these guys have a certain amount that they charge and, you know, you just pay them. But it's like having another record pool. But I, I like to pick the ones that do a good job of putting out frequent edits. So these next three that I'm about to tell you, uh, they do frequent edits. Like I get updates. I get notifications pretty frequently that they have put out new edits. So one of them is uh Nick bike. He's got some great edits, some great stuff. Um, I've gotten some gems from him. I've gotten a lot of great gems from DJ DeVille. A lot of great gems from him. Oh man. This one is a highly recommended one. DJ DeVille, if you can, if you want to get a lot of music and maybe just some different forms of music, definitely try out DJ DeVille. You will not be disappointed. Trust me. Um, and then also even Steve. Even Steve is another one um, who does a great job of editing music. So he put out a lot of versions that have like the acapella ends, the clap ends and stuff like that. But he does it tastefully to where it doesn't sound like crap. Uh, he also has tutorials on some of the edits that he did. Like, well, I think the last one he put out, he showed how he did a mix with the two songs that he did edits on, which was pretty cool. Uh, I think he's the only one that actually shows the edits being used. So um, I think those are pretty cool, but this these right here are where you should also look to get great music. And with prom season coming up, wedding season here now, um, you know, company parties and stuff, uh, you know, getting closer here, graduation parties and stuff coming up in the next couple of months. You know, if you want to just, just try to refresh some of your sets, definitely consider getting yourself a Patreon uh, and a Patreon account and use some of these guys and you can just search up some of these guys and there's, there's tons more. These are just the ones that I use, but I mean, look at all the, the different things of music that I can choose from. Like, this is what makes me excited right now. You know, you got all of these up here and then you got all of these guys over here. So like my library just, I think I added 
I think I added like three, three or 400. No, I think I added 300 new songs, 300 ones. So I like, like I'm saying, man, like you, you definitely want to, you know, upgrade your library and stuff like that. And, and keep it as current and stuff as possible with all the great new music and stuff's coming out. Sometimes these guys get it before the uh, record pools and stuff get it. And some of these guys are on some of these record pools. Like if I'm not mistaken, I think Jordan Lee does something with BPM Supreme. I think DeVille does something with DMS. Um, and he may do something with club killers uh, and of course, everybody knows. D- I should have put DJ City and stuff up here uh, too, because sometimes I kind of dibble and dabble on them uh, as well. But all of this are just sources of music. So if you need to upgrade your library, or you need to start somewhere, or you need to just build, 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 you can create folders and crates with nothing but these guys' edits in it and refer to it. You know, and there's some songs and stuff that I currently already play, but I keep thinking in my head, like, man, I wish it would, I wish it would start here and then end here, but still have the same beginning. And sometimes with these guys, you can actually request that they make the edit that way. And I'm not going to say that they'll always do it, but even in some of the comments under some of the edits, edit packs and stuff that they release, they even tell you that, you know, they put such and such edit in there and stuff as well. So you can get that. You know, I had Jordan Lee do one for me for September and it's still one that I use. Oh, appreciate the super chat and stuff. Innovation sounds. I appreciate that, man. Saying these record pools don't have higher library stuff. Band rock music. Oh, okay. <laughs> But yeah, definitely check these guys out. Check out some of this stuff. Um, I'll make a separate video and stuff of it so you don't have to jump back into this, but I'll, I'll chop this video up and you can leave comments and stuff down below if you have some more so that you know other DJs can check out other guys in Patreons and hook them up and stuff as well. So just another form, another avenue for you guys to grab some great music. Like I said, I cannot wait. Cannot wait. <laughs>